previously on The Casino. The entertainment at the Golden Nugget has been a sticking point in the past. Tom, are you kidding me? Oh. <clears throat> so. I didn't know. But all that's about to change when a legend comes to the Golden Nugget. Mr. Bennett, how are you? It's a real pleasure. Tim hey. Poster. Oh, my God. And the Mills clan has had their share of ups and downs. I'm going to rip this thing so much. Do us a favor, don't rip the cars at all, OK? Are you kidding me? Let me try to get a hold of Tim and see what's going on. We're going to play somewhere else. And tonight, Tommy will have his hands full with these high maintenance, high rollers. Tell me how it is. More Red Bull? <laughs> but when the Golden Nugget calls Jeff Mills on an outstanding marker. Oh, no, 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 no. Come over here. Can't do it. Can't do it. You wait till I f you guys one time, all right? Then you come after me. Will Tommy be able to save the day? Yes. Let's go. We're done. Yes. We're out. Let's go. Let's go. Two shots are happy, one shot is sad. I'm just a singer. Rolling the dice, not always a winner. You say I've been lucky, well, I've made my own. Not part of the crowd, but not feeling alone. the good things as well as the bad two shots of happy one shot of sad we needed to do something to let everyone know that the golden nugget is back in action so we decided to have a relaunch celebration weekend we brought in Big time headline entertainment, Tony Bennett. Are you in for two tickets? Of course you can buy two more. So two total? I'm putting you down. You're in. It really was, it was exciting as hell. Ooh, I just sold two more. Everyone got a makeover. Cocktail waitresses, the doorman. New chips, new, new, new showgirls. We even got new tuxes. It was great. Tom, I gotta see you in the mirror. <laughs> and we invited everybody, every VIP from within Las Vegas, a lot of our high rollers from outside Las Vegas, and we were doing everything possible to create the vintage Vegas vibe at the Golden Nugget. It, it was our chance to really show the world what we were trying to do. Wow, this quaint little get-together. I want to talk about this weekend. It's our relaunch party. You know, we're gonna get a lot of publicity off of bringing Tony Bennett in. The whole town's excited about it. I think everybody is gonna watch and, and, and see how we do with it. You know, is it gonna be successful? Can uh, headline entertainment work downtown? I think the answer is yes. But obviously, in order to make it successful, it's gonna rely a lot on the people in this room. And we all know this is uh, Mr. Tommy Sundstrom's first meeting here. I'd like Tommy to give us an update on how his first week went. So I, I'm kind of like specializing in that like $500 buy-in. How many names per night so far? Like, like 20 to 30, somewhere in there? I'm booking like 40. The average really? man would do like 20 to 30. Right. I'm 40. doing about 40. Yeah. Tommy, really? Tommy, you want to yeah. sit over here? No, I appreciate it. Thank you. You want to sit here? <laughs> <laughs> I'm totally stoked about the whole thing, so. This is John, can I help you? Hey, Johnny, it's Jeff Mills, how you doing? Hey, Jeff, how you doing? I'm doing great. Hey, I want to come back down to the Nuggets uh, this weekend. Yeah, no no problem at all. It'd, it'd be a great weekend. It's our grand reopening, so that'd be a great weekend. A lot of things going on. OK, great. Hey, I've got something real special planned for Kristen. It's kind of a surprise. I want to come back to Vegas because I wanted to propose to Kristen. I was not sure if I was going to be able to do it because I knew I was going to be very nervous. So I didn't tell my brother. I didn't tell Johnny. I didn't tell anybody. If there's anything we can do on this end to help you out, uh, please let us know. I will do that. So I'll see you this weekend. All right, Jeff. Thanks a lot.
So uh, I talked to the uh, the Mills brothers. They're coming back in for the relaunch weekend. Oh, they are? Yeah. Did they clear up those markers? They haven't cleared them up. They, the they last time like Jeff Mills was here, he had an established credit line with us. We actually bumped him up a couple of times to take him to, I think it was about 105000 They have a 30-day window to pay us back. They got like three days till they're 30 days out. Three days? Yeah, they'll, they'll be OK. They got to clear up those markers before we get many more credit. Yeah, they'll be OK. Got off the elevator, and I started to walk towards Zach's, my normal route. All of a sudden, Tony Bennett is walking to Zach's, and I'm like, I'm right there. I'm like right at the entrance. Oh my god. I mean, it's one of the guys I respect the most musically. I mean, he's one of the guys who turned me on to this type of music. Mr. Bennett, it's a real pleasure. Tim hey. Poster, how are you, sir? Thank you, Bennett. Awesome fan of yours, all my life. Working in this industry, you definitely get the opportunity to meet a lot of celebrities. Yes, sir. Tom Brightling. Tom Brightling. How, how are you doing? Good to see you, Tony. When you meet Tony Bennett. He's a legend. This guy is, he's, he's classic. He's as big as it gets, as big as it gets. Yeah, there you go, perfect, OK. I was like, man, how do I get Tony Bennett to come see me perform? Dude, you're gonna have your hands full this week. Why is that? Because I'm turning you loose on the on the wild crowd from SoCal. Oh, they're coming into town? You know, Tommy was doing a good job, and uh, I just thought I'd throw him a bone with the Mills Group. They're gonna give him a good working over. It'll be a good test for Tommy. You could probably handle that pace a little more than your old man could. Sweet. So uh, I'll keep you posted on when they arrive. You can meet them down at the VIP and, and just hang with them for three days. All right, thanks. All right. I was definitely stoked about hosting the Mills. I can relate to them. They like to go out. They like to have a good time. So, Tommy. Yes. Listen, big guy. What's up, brother? I, I got to come back in this joint. I got to hand him $300,000 just so <laughs> I can start playing. <laughs> you know, and hopefully we get you back up 300000 I knew that Jeff had had this huge outstanding marker from his last trip, but I didn't want to say anything because I didn't know how to handle it. Cheers to up 300,000. Right, hey. cheers to up 300,000. You got it? Thank you, man. All right, brother. This way, guys. Uh oh. Plenty of time. Woo! <laughs> You guys go do whatever you have to do. I'll be down on the casino floor, so. Really? No, I'm Where are you going? Dude, I'm a host now. Oh, we, oh, we, I didn't know that. Are we tonight? You guys let me know. We're going to the room, we're getting in our luggage, and we're coming back down. Bring me down on the equipment. hang out. Absolutely. Tommy, better hang out I'll be on the casino floor, of course. Dude, they're wild. You got your hands full. Uh-huh. You got your hands full. He's, a, he's a great guy. He's a cool and guy. And he loves to have fun, but. Be prepared. Okay. Be very prepared. All right, brother. I'll see you in a little you. bit. Good job. All right. Thank Good you. Job. Thank you. I had everything set up for the Mills Brothers. It's going to be smooth sailing from here on out. Not a bad view. Ah, we got the kitchen. Here we go. Come on, Tommy. Tommy, where'd you hide the booms? What's going on around here? Nothing's here. I'm calling right now. I'm calling. Calling right now. Where's the phone? Unbelievable. I needed a drink. The closer I got to proposing to Kristen, the more I needed a drink. I need Tommy. Hang on, sir. Let me transfer you to him. Hello? Tommy. This is Tommy. It's B. Hey, are you up in your room still? I'm in my room as we speak. And I see no juice. I see no vegetable platter. OK. I need some vegetables and fruit. OK. Can you go in there and tell him to bring it right away? Because we want to go down there and drop a little money in your casino. All right, I'll be up in a minute. Oh, yeah. Tommy's on his way up. Bye-bye. How's it going, man? Could you tell me, has anything gone up to the uh, Steve Wynn suite? Not that I know of. Should it be going up soon, do you know? I don't know. I've been in and out of here. This well, where are the orders, you know? Right over here. OK. Can I ask you a quick question? Is anything going up to the Steve Wynn suite anytime soon? Yes, uh-huh. He's getting it ready right now. 
I've been waiting two hours for some vegetables and booze. We can go downstairs and take care of that. Let's go fill these suckers up. Let's go. Are you getting something ready to go up to the Steve Wynn suite? Very good. Very, uh... Yeah, perfect. Um, can I take the Red Bull and the vodka? The Red Bull and the vodka right now. Let's go, yeah. Yeah, we sat there for a while. We finally said to heck with it. Let's go down and start playing. Tommy, where what? have you been? What are you doing? After walking out, out comes Tommy running with our drinks on a, on one of those trays, and uh, the guy was sweating to death. Yeah. You guys, I am so sorry about this. <coughs> you guys aren't really going to drink this, are you? Yes, they are. You guys are freaking pimps. We just found these huge vases in the room, and we just started filling them up with all this drink. You need a little more Red Bull. I figured this would help take the edge off before I pop the question. You have enough vodka in here? It's not good here. You taste it. A little strong, You ready? taste it. Tell me how it is. More Red Bull? It needs to be stirred. Tommy. <laughs> Tommy, you are coming down with us, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm coming because down right now. These whiny babies need you. I'll be right down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Remember Spitty? I like to see the look on the pit boss's faces when I put this thing on the crap field. Toast to no spilling. Yeah, toast to no spilling. You're Let's see to how spill that's the whole entire time. Is. These oh, guys no. are a trip, right? I got you beat. I mean, they're cool. They're great guys. But I mean, they're a handful. Yeah, and they were assigned. They were assigned to me this weekend. What do you think I should do? You got to spend more than an ordinary amount of time yeah, with them. Yeah, absolutely. But um, uh, now nah, you still got to do your job. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. So do you, I mean, because <laughs> I mean, they will get out of hand. They, yeah, they yeah. will. Make sure they like you because when they're drunk or when they're losing and they start to get out of control, yes, you, you can be the guy to keep them in line. Absolutely. You know? Look at him. Thanks, Tim. Thank you. I'll see you in a little bit. Over seven, no choice. Hi. Okay. Oh. That was about to happen. Tim and I and everyone else, we went upstairs to the showroom. And it was one of the most amazing things I've ever seen. Tony just picked up a microphone, got on stage, looked at his piano player, and he began singing Luck Be a Lady. <laughs> Incredible. They call you Lady Luck, but there is room for doubt. He just, you know, just stepped up and started doing it. So Tim and I just kind of sat down, and we just <laughs> said, uh, OK, let's enjoy. And we enjoyed a private performance by Tony Bennett. Luck be a lady. Luck if you've ever been a lady to begin with. Luck be a lady tonight. It's everything we talked about, dreamed about. We used to go see Frank Sinatra at the Sands and the Riviera. You know, did we go to the Sands with Sinatra? No, that was in like 1960. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, it was it was like a dream. You're fired. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ah, by the way, time it out. The RC, tell me to be 5,000 black. Not, not a marker, I want a table mark. Jeff was playing craps and he had run out of money, so he had asked the pit boss for a $5,000 marker. Hold on a minute. Bring it back. Do not give him the marker. What? That's, That's Jeff Mills. Jeff Mills. It's a table marker. Pay right back. They owe the nugget, I think, 105. Yeah, they owe 105. For 105. They're down 70 right now. Oh, well, they in cash? Yeah. They're in cash? Yeah. And they still owe us 105? Yeah. Okay, no problem. I'm sorry, Mr. Mills. We can't extend you any more credit. Honey, you promised we could go to bed. You wouldn't get any lines of credit. Kristen, please, this thing, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. We're coming over here. Can't do it, can't do it. Hey, Jeff, do you know Johnny? Hey, Jeff, hey, John DiCostantino. Hey, how nice you doing? Nice to meet you. I'm a director of player development here. Friend of Richard Wilkes, too. Yes. Richie, yeah. Hey, yeah. I just got a couple questions. 
I never expected Johnny V to go up and, and ask the Mills for the money. When somebody gives somebody credit that we don't know, not that we don't know you, okay? When I did don't my talk to me about, about paying my oh, marketers no, back. No, no, that's what I told you. Okay, about. we loan we... money to my partner and I, we have a large company, okay, and I can pay my marketers. Listen, you wait till I you guys one time, all right? Then you come after me. I haven't done nothing to you guys. No, I pay my markers, all right? As far as you, you're paying, I'm not worried about that. Ruin my drive, okay? We're done. That's it. We're going home. Hey, Tommy, good seeing you. Wait, let me get my drive. Here. Jeff. Good seeing you, big guy. Where? Let's go. Jeff. Jeff. Hey. As part of the relaunch weekend, we threw a big bash as a charity event, benefiting Andre Agassi's foundation, supporting underprivileged children here in Las Vegas. This is unbelievable. You've done such a classy job with this. See you every morning. We'll showers with you. Standing in your window. We raised over $200,000 for Andre Agassi's foundation, and on top of that, it was just great for the hotel. We are going to move this party up to the showroom for the wonderful performance of Tony Bennett. Thank you. Before the concert, Tom and Joe went to check on Tony Bennett in his dressing room. They started walking towards the backstage, I was like, oh, kind of blending with the scene, and I got back there, and there he is standing like, two feet away from me. I was a little flustered when I met him. It's meeting an icon, this is like, oh my god, I've listened to your records all my life. You're probably one of the most influential people in my musical career. And now we're shake, shaking hands, you know, shooting the breeze. Oh, uh, oh, okay. So I invited him to come see me perform with Zach's. Fortunately for me, Tom was there. He just jumped in and set everything up. Between what? Any time between six and nine. Okay, I'll arrange it. I'll arrange it with Danny. Dude, I apologize about last night. I don't know the whole story. I didn't even know what went down. I just saw you like pissed. I've never had a host come down to me and call me on the floor, you know, and start talking about my markers. You know, if we lose money here, unfortunately, you guys send me a bill to my, my office and we pay our markers, you know, that's the way it works. But you know, I just I just lost a lot of money and, and I'm sitting there debating and coming back in and, and the guy walks over me with all his suits. I'm like, you know something, I don't want to talk about this. You know, I've never had this happen to me before. Honestly, honestly, I, I mean, this is my fifth day as a host. I, when I called my dad, he was like, what are you talking about? It's not even it's not even due. And even if it was due, he's good for the money. I mean, you're good all around town, you know? So, I mean, I understand. I totally understand. Johnny D didn't mean anything. It was just a miscommunication. I thought Jeff was going to be really pissed. But actually, in the end, he was cool about the whole thing. I'm the type of guy where I forgive, forget. Yeah. Water off the uh, back. That's why you're a cool cat. Water, water, under, water the under the bridge. <laughs> water <laughs> off the back. <laughs> I wanted to pay my marker because the 30 days were up. And I wanted a clean slate before I proposed to Kristen. I've never, I've never brought a check to a, a casino before and handed it to anybody, but there you go. All right. And that's that's what I owe you. Okay. And we're done. You know, one of your guys came up to me and started talking about my marker. I wasn't even due yet. I've never had that happen before, well, and, ever, and, ever before. And you need to know that's not the way we operate. We want you guys around, Jeff. And if there was a mix-up, yeah. that's all it was. A guy like you, if you call me and you wanted 45 days, I'd give you 45 days. We don't need extra time. That's not the problem. Right. I've got lines of credit all over the place. Yeah. It was, it was mishandled. Okay. I appreciate you saying that, okay? Thank you, D. All right. You know I will. Okay. Thank you. So once that was out of the way, there was really nothing holding me back from proposing, except that I was still really nervous. So I, I just thought one roll of dice, just one roll, and then I was going to go propose. 44! Oh, seven out. Seven out. <laughs> I don't believe you. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just decided to put all my money on the next shooter. 54 right here. I couldn't just walk away. I had to wait till he crapped out. You gotta let the money ride. We got ourselves a shooter. Yeah! The guy was just on fire. 
He just kept rolling and rolling. For 45 minutes, he rolled those dice. <laughs> What's the deal? Dude, you guys are doing well, man. I'm glad to see you. Come on. Jeff Mills, he had to have like 40, 50 Gs in front of him. RP for repeat was his name. 33. RP. 33. RP. 33. This was a good sign. Where's the love you find? Guys, where's the love you find? There's my girl. Perfect. Oh, yeah. Perfect oh, spot. I, love it. I made my mind to propose to Kristen, but I wanted to do something really big, something she'd never forget. So Brian and I conjured up a little art project on the desert floor. We need it kind of thick, but like a foot thick, at least. Remember, we got to see it from way up there. We're going to be high up. Hold on, slow down. I'm going to start right here. I actually make a bigger point on it, too. Oh, it's going to look hot. I can't even go on anymore. But that was only half the plan. Oh, my God. <laughs> it is <unbelievable>. <laughs> <laughs> Are you Kristen Litzner? Yes. Okay, yes. I am instructed to escort you to a car. For well, what? I don't know. Where I'm are we just, going? You know? you, I have no idea. I have you a limousine waiting for you. I know nothing. Okay. Right Honest now? to God. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Honest All to God. Right. I wasn't sure where we were going. I had no clue whatsoever. She just said that Jeff wants me to go into a limo and he wants to meet you somewhere. Bye. Can't tell you. Really? I'm sworn to secrecy. You'd be pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised? You're going shopping? We're not going shopping. A place with a nice view. A nice view? A spa? It's not a spa. Not a spa. Can't think of anything else. All right, I'll just be patient. So we drove a while, and then we ended up at a helicopter pad. Cypher sore eyes. I guess I'm a true romantic. Kristen always comes first, you know? I mean, she comes first before anything. You right? She always has, ever since I've been with her. You know, nothing really else matters. Love you. Love you. And I love you. Something was wrong with the headphones because you couldn't hear. It was, it just kept going and and then it would cut you off. <laughs> So he was trying to talk to me, and I couldn't hear him. What? What? Can you hear me now? I hear you loud and clear. What? It says, Kristen, I love you. What does? That heart. It was the most beautiful heart you've ever seen in your entire life. I mean, it looked like an artist drew it. You came all the way out here and did that. How did you feel over here? Hold on, hold on, hold on. So pretty. Why'd you do it so nice? Kristen, I love you. I love you too. Uh -huh. No, I love you, right? You know that, right? Yes. Yes. Listen. It was now or never. I want you to marry me. I just finally said, Will you marry me? And I think she was shocked. I want you to marry me. Okay. Love you. So she heard me and she said, yeah. Honey, it's beautiful. She is everything to me and I love her so much. And I'm so thrilled and so happy to be getting married to her. Jeff is just the most romantic person I've ever met. And I just know we're going to be together forever. of being a host is you can take advantage of the gym and the spa and whatnot. And the mills were out for the day, so I thought I'd take advantage. What are you doing? You all right? Uh, you OK? Yeah. Yeah, right you are. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> 
You're doing chest. Yeah. Always pop it up like this, OK? All right. Come back and lift. Don't do any heavy weights okay. without being spotted, please. All right. All right? Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. Um, do you guys have tanning beds? Um, you want a tanning appointment? Like a spray, a spray on? tanning? Yeah, yeah have do you have anything here. like that? We actually do have an opening right now. We just have to have it done now. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, for sure. Take off shoes and tasks and lay down here, okay? Okay. I just had a hard workout. See? I put George Hamilton to shame. That's how dark I was. I got a spray can upstairs, and the lady just, I don't know if she put in like the super dark, like, it like what I'm. Good. It does yeah, look good. I yeah. wish I was that dark. No, I do too. I don't it looks like, good. You look like George Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a Krispy Kreme donut. Dude, they tore me up. I'm what so embarrassed. That's it. That's it. That's how. That's how bad they tore me up. I'm so embarrassed right now, and I'm still brown. I'm not even a hint of red. Hey, your teeth are whiter. That's right. <laughs> Get out of here. We'll see you later. It looks so fake. It was ridiculous. I, I, I had to golf clean myself up a little bit. Hey, Dad. What up? Why don't you and Lisa come on down to the Nugget tonight? I'm gonna throw a little party. Jeff was so excited. He just wanted to have this engagement party, and he wanted to do it now, that night. You know, I thought we'd have a nice romantic dinner, just the two of us. But he was so excited, he just wanted to tell the world. Hey, Tommy, I got a question for you. Yeah. We're going to have a little party tonight. OK. Well, no, Just a little get yeah. together with some of our close friends. So they want 15 rooms. They want a banquet room to host a, a dinner for 25 people. They want a full bar at the dinner. They want flowers. They want candles. I mean, the works. So all in all, this is a big deal party, and I have about four hours to plan the entire thing. Got you got a lot of work to do. I do. OK. So. What are you doing standing here? So. <laughs> and I, so I threw these four people in a room, so I wrote down all who I want in every room. Oh, are they here to check in now? No, not until tonight, but we're not, we're not, we might not be here, so I just want to make sure oh, okay. it was all taken care of. Yeah, that's not a problem at all. So. I was just starting to feel a little bit stressed out. If I didn't stay on top of things, this party was not going to happen. So these names I put for these for the room, so that way when they come, they're all taken care of. Not a problem at all. Thank you so, so, You're so welcome. much. I so appreciate it. Okay. Enjoy oh, your day. Just huge stress load off me. <laughs> Thank you. I think it was about five minutes before the show. I'm outside. All of a sudden, Danny Bennett, Tony Bennett's son, walks around the corner and goes, oh, hi there. Hey. Hey, Jen, how are you? are you? going to come in like quarter of nine, nine o'clock. Is that cool? That, 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 that cool? That's great. That's fantastic. OK, thank you so much. Wolfie, come here. Tony's yes, coming in. Uh, quarter of nine to nine o'clock. Do you want me to see? Yeah. Wow. Nervous? I need a drink. You should be. Jeez. OK, I got, I got to tell the boys. OK, I'm going to sing a little bit, and then we're going to. My brain's on stun. Boys, he's coming. He's coming. I had a bunch of friends fly in for the engagement party, and they, as they were flying in, I was getting a phone call, and they were saying, they don't have my room. What room am I in? They don't have it. They won't give us keys. You know what? This place sucks. <laughs> they can't even get four rooms right. I, I just don't understand how every single room. I knew in planning this engagement party, it was going to put a ton of pressure on Kristen, because everything's happening so quickly. So she started breaking down. These were the rooms everyone was supposed to be in, and every single person was in the wrong 
hotel room. As they arrived, Tammy was in my Aunt Betty's everybody, room. Is everybody here, though? Sherry is, is everybody in my... Here? Yeah, but they're in the... Is my, everything worked out? No. I don't handle stress very well. I just wanted to escape. Let me just escape. Let me leave the situation, and it'll, it will be gone. It'll all okay. work out. Okay. 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 Sweetie, you gotta stop drinking. Pull together. Jeff thought I had been drinking, and I wasn't drunk. That made me even more angry for him to blame it on something that it wasn't that, that wasn't the cause of why my emotions were, you know, in a turmoil. You should be here any minute. So here we are on stage performing. It's in our first set. I'm getting all nervous. It gets to 8.30, he's not here. I'm standing there just waiting. Thank you very much, thank you guys. 8.40, not here. 8.50, I'm just like, man, he's not coming. These guys are gonna play a little blues for you while I take a little drink. Hope you like it. You know, by now I was kind of bummed that Tony wasn't coming, so uh, we were just gonna finish out the set and call it a night. He's supposed to still come. He's supposed to be here in a minute. So I don't know how long you want to wait. Hello, Mr. Bennett. Good to see you. We got a table for you right over here. Sit right over here. Then he just walks in. Oh, it was incredible. my opportunity to, to sing for one of my heroes. Temperature on stage went up 10 degrees all of a sudden, and the guys played harder, I sung harder, and it was, it was out of this world. I mean, you've got five minutes to make an impression. Mistress so impossible, you're so cruel yet wonderful. Wise men have lost their wits over you. While we were performing, he, you know, he was smiling, he was taking pictures, he was bopping his head. He's digging it. You make me believe. I like what he's doing. Backward each time. And then you go, and when you leave, you take my pride, but I need you still. I was so nervous, but. The band did really well, and I think we put on a really, really good show. Cold eyes, I... Thank you. <laughs> okay, if that wasn't like the heaviest moment of my career, having Tony Bennett sitting watching you. I was just so honored that he came in. This is just like a milestone in, in my career. I could never ask for something bigger than this moment. It was great having my family and friends there. We were all just gambling. It was a blast. Everyone's been placed in my aunt's room. They keep showing up at my aunt's room. Hello? They've been in the wrong room. Every room has been messed up. It's taken a real toll, and then I have Jeff telling me, well, you drank too much. You know what? I had one drink. I didn't, I didn't drink too much. I'm stressed out. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at him. He's like, he doesn't care. He's at the table. Oh, my God. Because all he cares about is gambling. You know what? No. My dad and I are leaving right now. Dee said we should pull the flowers out and give them to the girls. Go every other seat. This is what casino marketing is all about, right here, Tom. Taking care of the guests, right? That's right. Got they'll, it? they'll remember this. We went all out for this party. They're going to absolutely love it. Chris, what? don't do this. Sick of him thinking that it's alcohol. It's what I need is a drink, not a not drink. I mean, I'm sick of it. Worth it, baby. <laughs> <laughs> All the hard ways accept. I'm not getting married. I'm not. I'm not getting married. 
So, not. you're done. Please. We discussed this earlier, okay? All you care about is over there, Cam. Oh my not God, look what I, I have to be over here. Right, which is more important, your new wife or the, or the gambling? Kristen? That's what I thought. That's what I thought. What are you doing? I got him a, a convention room. I ordered a bunch of flowers. I had a cake made for him. I arranged it so they had dinner at the party, the full service bar. Beautiful. I came through in the clutch. Dude, this is impressive, i I'm very impressed. What in the hell are you doing? I'm gonna go home if you don't make up Kristen. with me. You're just ignoring me, going into the pits and doing your own thing. I hear and, something happening. And I'm, I'm chopped liver. Kristen, and Kristen, you know what? Kristen. I'm not okay with that. Kristen, I'm sorry what's happening to you right now. I feel bad too. You no, know, you don't. Yes, I, yes, you I don't do. understand. I you do. just think I'm drunk and that's Kristen, not true. Kristen, I don't think that. When women get stressed, okay, they don't think straight. You don't know that I've been crying for the last half hour. Please put your arms around me. What is wrong with you, sweetie? Do you have any idea how much I love you? No. You don't? I haven't told you a million times over. It's been really hard on me today, and then to have you blame it on alcohol just really hurt my feelings. I'm sorry, Because sweetheart. I've been really stressed out. Okay, I'm here with my family, your family. Everyone's here today. This is the entire table's us. Uh, I know. Oh, man, I love you. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay? All right? I'm sorry. Come, come over here with me, please. I can't even, what? I can't even, I cannot even function without you here, okay? We got a little party we have to do tonight, okay? Come on. There's, there's flowers. I did that for you, sweetheart. Thank you, honey. I like uh, at least I can do it for you. Tommy! How are you? Christopher. How's everything? Hi. Welcome, Please. sir. Welcome. How are you doing? Beautiful. How's it going, Nate? Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you. Hello. Everybody, please put up your glass. I'd like to make a toast here. I want to thank everybody very much for coming here to my party. What I wanted to say to everybody here is this, is that uh, this party is actually an engagement party. I propose to Christmas. Oh. Yes. Take care of her. I will. I will. Not bad at all. The best part of it is this, is though, is that we decided we want to have the wedding here at our home here, at the, our hotel, the Golden Nugget. All right. Cheers. Guys, I just want to make a toast real quick. Tommy, John, you know, we put the most unbearable requests on you guys, and this was this is unbelievable. Thank you very much. I really appreciate everything you've done tonight. Our pleasure. You guys are worth it. You guys have graduated. You guys are worth it. <laughs> the engagement party was absolutely beautiful. Honestly, no place in town could have done a better job than what we did. And my dad had told me this is what it's all about, making them happy. He just gave me a toast and said I did a really good job. This has been the best day of my life. Whole cool weekend, Tony Bennett in town, I tell you what. Well, that night was one of those surreal events where only in Vegas and... It was like a dream. Tim and I had talked about this for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, would you please welcome Mr. Tony Bennett! And I was here the night Sinatra came out of retirement and played here, and it changed his whole career. It's, this is a magic room. It has great history here, you know. Tony Bennett and his band, it was one of the best nights of my life. Luck be a lady tonight. Luck be a lady tonight. You know, in spite of all the frustrations and all the hurdles that we had to overcome, Tony Bennett on stage was probably the, the, the proudest moment of our lives. Stick with me, baby, I'm the fella you came in with.
Old School Vegas. Good night, everybody. Thank you very much. Tonight's episode featured music by Matt Dusk. Next week on The Casino. As the wedding costs begin to soar. We have gotten it down to $113,000. Jeff turns to Lady Luck for help. Come on. Seven. But Kristen has to deal with more than just wedding plans. Feels like that I tension feel the between tension. us. And I can't take it anymore. And Tommy's new career is on the line. Tommy's getting toasted. <laughs> when he hits rock bottom. Uh, uh.